Okay, so it's occurred to me that I haven't actually done a tutorial video on learning your first ever drum beat. So I thought I would take this time now to uh, walk you through everyone's first beginner drum beat and uh, just dive into it. Yeah, so I hope you learned something from this lesson and if it's your first ever drum lesson, welcome. And I hope you don't get discouraged uh, you know, going through your drumming career because it can be a lot of fun for you. Uh, so let's jump on the kit and hop into the... Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Alright, so we're on the kit now. So uh, first of all, I'm going to explain the timing. We're going to be hitting the hi-hat every... It's counted in four, right? So the hi-hat is on every single beat. One, two, three, and four. So... Uh, that's how it is for this beat, okay? On every beat, one, two, three, and four. And jumping in straight away with the foot, the foot is gonna be played on the one. So, hi-hat's being played on one, two, three, and four. The foot is only be gonna be played on the one, all right? So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can start this slow, get used to the timing on the hi-hat, and then you can add in your foot. And then of course, the snare, which is gonna complete the beat, is gonna be played on the three, all right? So if we forget the foot for a second and just practice the snare, one, two, three, and four on the hi-hat, three on the snare. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then of course, practice that as slow as you need and build it up build up that muscle memory. Foot's on the one, snare's on the three. Start it nice and slow. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you can build that up from however slow you need to do it to however fast you want to or need to do it as well. Um, another way you can think of this is rather than counting one, two, three, four, if you're a beginner and you're finding it hard to count whilst playing, you can think of it as an object. So for example, apple one, orange one. Okay, so if you think of it as an object, it might help your brain uh, organize it better when you're actually on the kit. So think of apple as hi-hat and the foot. So apple, you know, apple. And then the one is just the hi-hat on its own, one. And then orange, would be the hi-hat and the snare together. So, orange. And then it would be a one again, which is just the hi-hat. So when you put it together, apple one, orange one, you've got apple one, orange one. Same outcome, it could just be easier for you if you're finding it difficult to count whilst playing the actual uh, timing, the actual drum you could think of it as that, so you know it's apple, one, orange, one. All right, now I'm just gonna play it with you slowly first, and then I'm gonna play it fast with you. We'll just do it a couple times through, try and get used to it, but we're gonna be playing it slow first. All right, here we go. and slow if you can play along to this next one which is going to be should we say a normal speed uh, an average speed for this beat then let's go okay this is going to be played normal speed but if you haven't got to this it's perfectly fine to stay behind and just really practice that muscle memory because playing the rhythm fast means nothing if you if you're getting jumbled up if you're playing the snare slightly off if you're rushing um, what you're meant to be playing, it's not gonna sound good. I would rather, like, as a, when I was starting out, I like to get everything down before I sped it up, you know? Personally, I recommend that, but if you just wanna, if your goal is to start playing fast, I still recommend just starting slow and really getting that uh, form and technique. But here you go, this is a normal pace. <laughs> Cool, 
course you can add crash symbols and rides and fills and all that fun stuff but this is for the basic beginner groove hopefully i've explained it well for you all right guys hopefully you learned something from that video um i enjoyed making it it was a nice little you know slow down the pace kind of thing for me so uh hopefully you did learn something from watching that uh thank you for all the support and like i've said there are better videos coming out got some good ones lined up i've filmed some already i'm in the process of editing some at the moment as well so they'll all be coming out very soon um luckily i've got this holiday to uh i'm really knuckling down so hopefully the content that comes out will uh you know will be good and you guys can enjoy that so yeah that, that should be good um and please do consider if you wish subscribing liking and putting a comment down below if you want to see an idea of yours come to life uh you know if you want me to do it always means a lot to see you guys' comments so uh yeah thanks for watching